Welcome to Retrograde Nova's Ultra Solar Tales. Titan on the bridge with a cheeseburger. Episode 1. The Babaka helmsman flicks its gooey tentacles on the control screen as all 11 feet of its squidly body glistens with an oily sheen. It whistles. Mara. A kaleidoscope of color shimmers across its four giant fly-like eyes. Those crazy reflecting eyes. Their small head always leaves you wondering which direction it was looking. Those devious little bastards. Mara, Titan, called Mara by most of her crew, has fallen into a cheeseburger coma. Chunks of bread, meat, and unspeakables crumble out of her hand as huge globs of it drop onto her shirt and splat onto the floor. Well, it's not actually bread, and it's not actually meat, but who's counting? The first officer, Alanawa, another squid, receives a textured water stream from the helmsman, and her light screens flicker to new images. Mara. Titan, lost in a dream, doesn't hear a thing. She leans far back in her chair as her eyes roll to the back of her skull. She mumbles, This is amazing, as chunks of food flop out of her mouth. Alanawa whistles, Mara! Titan grabs the burger with both hands and tries to shove the entire thing into her mouth. She does that a lot. She is a tall woman, slouched deep into the recesses of her chair. Her hair is wild in rebellious spirals around her face, which are lit by a watery wall of light screens. Another moment passes. Titan snaps her head forward as a chunk of bread is launched out of her mouth. Ugh, it almost touched me. Her confused face turns to Alanawa. What? Alanawa, casual as always. Mara, a projectile has torn through deck 12. Another through deck 17. More projectiles are on a collision course. We will be struck again momentarily. Titan stands and turns to face the wall-sized watery screens running through the room. The remnants of the lifeless cheeseburger now decorate the floor. She takes three decisive steps and stops. Her eyes sharpen, then turn dark. Titan looks into the watery screens. Light reflections warble across her face from the shimmery liquid. Even without a captain's uniform, I have always thought there is no doubt who is commanding this ship. Can we move out of the way of the incoming projectiles? The dozen squiddy babaka all flick water and whistle. Their whale-like blowholes sing in harmony only on occasion. The rest of the time, it's an orchestra of dying, honking balloons. The entire ship shudders as large projectiles make contact with the hull. Titan, frustrated at the lack of an answer, brushes the last remnants of cheeseburger from her dark blue spacesuit. The crumbs fall onto the pristine floor, following her uneven path around the screens. Alanawa speaks out. Her whistling voice is followed immediately by the computer translating her speech into English. Usually, it does a pretty shit job. No, Mara, we have not had shoes in time. <laughs> okay, I will continue to translate the translator going forward, as I have been. Unless, of course, it's, you know, way too funny to pass up. I enjoy watching Titan trying to parse the broken English from the translator, But during a crisis is not the time for semantic games. We're about to be hit? Yes. Please go to ImagineAlleyDigital.com to find more information on Retrograde Nova's Ultra Solar Tales, as well as its creator, Erica Christie.